This audio continues from Safe Bet, which is linked in the description. If you haven't heard that one yet, check it out first. If you like this audio, please consider leaving a comment, even if it's just an emoji, to help grow the channel. Thank you. And one last thing, this audio features guest voice artists Layla Audios and Man of Culture ASMR. Their details are in the description. Check them out. And let's set the scene. You're at your friends Sarah and Vincent's house, watching a game, and when those two lovebirds snuck off at halftime to do who knows what, you and your best friend lamented being so alone and missing physical intimacy. You played cards to occupy the time and ended up placing a bet on the outcome, namely the winner gets to kiss the neck of the loser for a few minutes. And you found yourself throwing the game because the idea of him kissing you was... Oof. And it was even more than you expected. The rest of the night was spent stealing glances at each other, and you hoping your excitement wasn't too discernible to Sarah or Vincent. You want more. But the big question is, does he? Hey, thanks for hosting, guys. It was a great time again, as usual. It was a good time. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, well, you know, the team actually winning uh, does help a lot. <laughs> yeah, what she said, it's really great for you guys to host these games here. I think I can speak for her when I say we both enjoy it. Hey, our pleasure. <laughs> I, I didn't put time into making this home theater for nothing, you know? <laughs> Makes sense. It's always good to get the gang together, whatever the reason. Well, all right. Thanks again. Have a good night. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good game, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, it was really neat to see him pull it out in the last moments. Kind of a, a repeat of the first half, except they actually made it that time, you know? <laughs> yeah, miracles can happen from time to time, so it seems. <laughs> you know, to be honest, uh, I'm not even really that big a football fan. I just like hanging out with you guys. <laughs> well, if you feel that way too, maybe we should find something else to do. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, before we, uh, before we head home, um, I think it would be a good idea to talk about uh, a different game. Yeah, uh, fishing. <laughs> that was... Um, Yes, I was going to say great. <laughs> I'm glad. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, so like, what's going through my mind is a lot of conflicting impulses and signals. And I just wanted to make sure you understand where I'm coming from. I, uh, I really enjoyed that. It, yes, I already said that. Um, <laughs> right. What's going through my head is that I need to be asking you about doing that more. Yeah. Uh, good. <laughs> um trying not to make this more awkward, but to be clear, I've recognized that you're very attractive for a long time. Like, like it just recognized. It wasn't anything that I wanted to act upon. Like, you know, the four of us are just like inseparable. And I really treasure that, and I don't want to screw that up. Um, but every fiber of my being is just screaming at me that I need more of you. And uh, I want to give you more of me. <laughs> yeah. It's really, 
critical that I don't do anything that's going to make this dynamic awkward. That would be the worst case scenario. Um, your friendship, the friendship I have with Sarah and Vincent, um, they're all very important to me. I don't want to jeopardize that at all. That being said, if we think we can add to what we have, I'd really like that. That's uh, a very good question. Uh, what does that look like? Um, hopefully, you don't find this too far out of left field, but as I was saying, um, you are really hot. Well, to me, you are. And I've ignored it for a long time. It wasn't, it wasn't a problem because you're awesome. But after what happened in there, it's really difficult to ignore anymore. And um, it's taken my mind to places... <sighs> okay, I'll be very upfront about it. We have a great friendship. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be sappy. Uh, what I'm asking is how do you feel about adding with benefits to that friendship? Yeah, hooking up. Cool. <laughs> we obviously are appreciative of each other's advances. Speaking of which, wasn't the agreement for that game that I get to kiss your neck? It didn't say anything about you kissing my neck. <laughs> I'm just giving you crap. <laughs> No, believe me, I did not mind at all. That's why we're having this conversation. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'd like to... I'd like to be with you. You know, no... Um, no commitments, you know, no. Right, and try to keep the friendship going the way it always has been. It's just a little bit of um, relief <laughs> every once in a while. Can help us out. No pressure to not see other people or whatever. Okay. That sounds great. Well, it's not that late tonight. What do you got going on? Yeah, tonight. You know, I... I do live by myself, so if you want to, uh... If you'd like to come over... Yeah. Sounds great. Can you, uh... Can you come here for a minute? Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I'll see you at my place. Yeah. See you in a bit. The next part of this series is available on Patreon right now, where we get to see one of their encounters and get some hints about what they might be feeling for each other. The link is in the description. The final episode of this series will be back here on YouTube in the near future, so keep an eye open. Thanks for listening.